Rift Glim is about to suck some souls. That sounded weird. But the <laughs> the Drift Blim is about to steal some children. Um, that is an interesting team. Okay, Flygon. I have not seen that thing quite yet. Also, Indeedee is about to, have to put in some work. So they got the they got the Ice Cream Cone. Potential Aurora Veil. Um, but we're just going to go ahead and send out the old handy dandy Indeedee and Blim. And what else do we want here? Also, like Sylveon. Definitely want Sylveon. And then other than that, probably you know, we have a hard time against the Rotom. I just want to go Excadrill, but I kind of like the fish also. We're bringing the absolute abomin abomination of a fish. But yeah, Drift Blim, uh, I really like this team. It's... It's fun to use it, not a lot of people expect kind of what it's got going. The, uh, the offensive indeed just comes through. Also very interesting to see the flag on too. So they're just gonna lead Whimsicott in the ice cream, so that's interesting. Now this makes me want to go for the max flare with Ndidi, just because we can get rid of the hail, and then if this thing does decide to try to go for the Aurora Veil. Uh, it's not gonna work for you, so let's see. Let's see how this goes. So, we activate our seed here, which activates Unburdened, so we'll be able to get off a Tailwind. Um, but we're just gonna go ahead and flare this bad boy. And then, so we do have to Tailwind. I do like, I, I probably should have brought Excadrill for the, for the Whimsicott, but it shouldn't be too big of an issue. Look at that ice cream cone over there, unsuspecting of the events that are about to partake. Take part. What do we got here? They're not gonna. What, why? It's a very interesting league combo. The Musica and the Vanilla. Are they gonna tailwind themselves with their Whimsica? Nope. So we're actually just gonna get our tailwind up, which will allow Ndd to outspeed and. Make it rain fire. <laughs> oh, but they have the fire berry, of course they do. Well, at least we're able to get rid of the hail, because if they try to go for that Aurora, they ought to be a waste of time. But that's still going to do some big boy damage. And what does this Whimsicott want to do? And now your ice cream is about to be melted. Really got the Aka berry on that thing. Yeah, just going to Moonblast on Ndidi. We eat that up. Because we still bulky, and now they're going to taunt. So they try to, try to taunt the Ndidi, and that is... The exact reason why you make me nervous standing there. Sorry. Um, it's the exact reason why we like to run offensive, offensive DD. Um, so let's just go ahead and kind of just want to flare that thing, get the wind to cut, and then we can actually just go ahead and shadow all that. So nice to not have to worry about the Aurora Veil. Now they get up the tailwind, so. Mm -hmm. Alright, cream. Oh my god, I lived it with one. <laughs> and then taunts the drift blows. They really they really want uh really want me taunted. They do not want any shenanigans. And then the Whimsicott also is sashed. So both of these things sitting at like one HP is annoying. But they do still have the Dynamax in the back pocket, so that's scary. So, we're gonna go ahead and... I guess just Mindstorm. It doesn't really matter what we click here, to be honest. So they did get their Tailwind up, and then they're gonna have a Dynamax. Which is not good. But Drift Limb still outspeeds because we do have the Unburden. So, able to get rid of the Whimsicott. And, uh... Does get off the blizzard. Drift Limb's able to take less than half than half of that because of our special defense boost. And then a Mindstorm finishes this off. So we're sitting at, uh, we're able to take out two, but they got some threats on the way. Ndd is no longer going to be large. I really thought we were going to be able to get him with uh, them trying to go for the Aurora Veil. Every time I see the ice cream cone, I'm really just like, why are you not Aurora Veil? 
All right, so. so like, uh, ooh, this is not good, and the delayed. So, indeed, he needs to dazzling gleam, but we're probably not going to be able to get that off. Um, but what we can do is we can willow wisp. Even though I have they, oh no, we're taunted. Just kidding. Psych. That is that is unfortunate. Um, man. Being able to get the Wisp off was kind of crucial for us to be able to take out this Flygon. What are they going to Dynamax is the question. I'm thinking probably Delayed. Yeah, Excadrill for Mimic U is too good. This Glade about to make it evolve and destroy my life. No, they're going to do it to the Flygon. Okay. <laughs> I've not seen a large Flygon. Yeah, so the taunts did come back to bite me. We would have been able to get a clean will o wisp off on this thing. Considering switching, but it wasn't, wasn't worth it. But at least do get the Shadow Ball on the Gallade, which knocks it down below half. That is nice. And now the Rock Fall, if it happens to Drift Blimp. That's fine. Knocks out the Blimp. But... Now what is this delayed gonna do is the question also to get sense to it. Should have brought the Excadrill, man. Oh, with the poison jab. Indeed he leaves it with two HP! Nice! Which allows us to take out the Gallade? Oh my god, Indeedy is too clutch! Entirely too clutch. So we died at the Life Orb, but we would have died at the Sandstorm anyway. And our Tailwind goes away, which is bad. But we still have the Dracovish and the Sylveon, so... Didi the MVP, though, seriously. He's got croissants on his ears, and he is not afraid of anything. <laughs> Ever since Sam said the croissant thing, that's, that's not my news. Anything. All right, so we are just going to click Ice Fang and Hyper Voice. And boy, was that super nice getting that live. Yeah, baby. This Flygon does not know what to do. Just gone for the Wormwind. We'll be able to take out the Dracovish, and I think Sylveon can still take. An attack from whatever else this thing oh, can we take a max well we can protect to stall out its dynamax after that but i think this actually just kills yep the hyper boy's coming in clutch the shiny skin ribbon boy so that was uh that was a close battle if indeed he didn't didn't carry so hard we would have been in a, in a bad spot but we'll take it we take those All right, we do see the Dusclops Trick Rim shenanigans, but also if they lead with the if they lead Dragapult, we can actually just Tailwind and knock the thing out with DD. So let's go ahead and try to see if we can get that to do Will that to happen. Um, but they got some threats. They also have Fair Throw. Let's go Sylveon because we can maybe go fire that thing, and then also I think we need Wait, they don't have a Steel type other than that thing. Um, I'd like to go come O, but no, because they have a damn token kiss. Let's go handy dandy drill. I was away for the day stream, sorry bro. It's all good. It's not okay. It is not okay actually be rich, so sorry. What do you want the counter for, Chad? Alright, so my expectation is Dusclops Dragapult is what I've come to see. I also see a lot of Arcanine leads, Arcanine leads against this team. Because so I feel like people expect Exudril. Why well, play over Throat Spray? Um, I haven't even messed with Throat Spray to be honest. I almost just googled Throat Spray, that would not have come up. With uh, because that helps out with sound moves, right? Yeah, it causes a special attack to raise one stage when it uses a sound base move. I guess that's probably, that's probably better. Maybe on Rotom Arc. Yeah, Throat Spray when you use a sound base move gives you a special attack boost. I can switch it up. I can switch it up to that. Alright. Um, so the special defense boost allows 
Drifblum to be able to have be able to take an attack from the Rotom. But we also do know that a Mindstorm kills an Arcanine straight off, so let's just go for that. Arcanine's a threat, we're just gonna get up that tailwind. Best theme in the game. There's a lot of there's a lot of good uh really good songs in this game. Alright, big and Didi. With the croissant horns. Won the first tournament I entered. We're talking about the freaking Dragon Ball Z card game. Okay, so there's the tailwind, which allows you Didi to get that speed. And Mindstorm just wipes Arcanine. No Arcanine has ever done anything against this team because that happens every damn time. Mm, Electro Web, huh? So a speed drop, but the Tailwind is still nice. Mail and DD. <laughs> we love the offensive Mail and DD. What is a threat? Dragapult. And we want to Starfall this thing. It's likely just gonna Dynamax. Um, with the speed drop, I hope we don't have any issue. I think we are actually slower than Dragapult due to the speed drop. Which is quite unfort. I really need to start wheeling down this damn Rotom too, that was the thing. Let's, let's shout about the Rotom. Dragapult Protect. So I'm glad that I didn't shot up all the Dragapults. Get some decent damage off on the Rotom. Really protect just to get another speed drop, so that's smart. Indeed, he should have been an EXP sack. Aldina was not impressed. <laughs> Alright, so we get the Starfall through the Protect here. Should be some okay damage. Policy Dragapult is not good, and we've used up our Dynamax here. We were able to kill the Arcanine, but it's not looking like it's enough. Starfall this thing, and also Shadow Ball it. So he's probably just gonna take out Indeedy with a Adina's crying outside the club because it wasn't invited. <laughs> Gather is the club. Alright, big Dragapult with a weakness policy boost. This is not good. Protect is really nice there. I know I did get that weakness policy for freaking free. But Unburdened Blim still outspeeds, gets it to half. Oh, not quite enough. Another Electro Web. And something dies to this Dragapult. Likely just gonna be the Indeedy. Oh! The live! How the fuck did we just live that? This thing had a weakness policy boost. Hello? Wow. Let's see how Dragapult goes bye bye, and this man underestimated the power of Ndidi. He was not ready. Absolute unit. That is awesome. So we've killed the Arcanine and the Dragapult, which are very large threats. And then it is going to be a fair thing. So um, we do have. We're not going to be able to get it off, but we have uh, multiple fire for this thing. But we also do have the. Hey, Shiny Norvern! For 15 months, thank you very much. Uh, let's go ahead and just click multiple fire anyway. The Rotom is still an issue. Not much, Michelle. Just testing out a new VGC team. Yeah, so there's the Electro Web. 
Finishes off in DD. Drift Bloom does live. Gotta go to bed. Well, thank you for stopping by, Mike. Have a good night, man. That's three speed drops, but Unburden Boost plus a Tailwind, we are still faster. Nice. Than the, than the Fair of Thermal East. Hey, well, <laughs> thank you for catching me live, Dora. Appreciate that. I also get a Spadef drop on that thing. Daldora. Tailwind is go going away, but it's fine. We just get a Sylveon Drill here. That was when I really wish I had Mold Breaker Excadrill. It seems a lot more useful. We'd be able to hit that Rotom. And, uh... We just go and get to fire on that thing. And then we also are going to... Let's protect the drill. So fire doesn't kill the pharaoh. Ooh, it's actually just gonna attack too. <sighs> I hate to see it. still live in a, a gyro ball from the Ferrothorn? I think. It's another speed drop on the damn... So Dude, Electroweb is more annoying than I expected. Get off the rock slide. Oh, we still get the mystical fire off. You're slower than Ferrothorn? Oh, that's actually just gonna knock it out. Yeah, so the gyro ball goes based off of how much speed it has on you. But we get this dub. So now it is just us and this Rotom. And it can't really touch Excadrill because we are Sash. So. We just click Quick Attack anyway, just to get some damage. And then we have to Rock Slide, I suppose. You can't kill us both. Battle's canceled. He's just gonna hit, it with, hit us with the run button. Not bad. Not bad. 